Hello and welcome to White Glove Reviews. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at another Lego poly bag. And in this case, it's poly bag 30449, the Milano. And this is from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now, if you enjoy this kind of video, the whole Lego poly bag build along thing, please think about. Ooh, Please think about subscribing and also turning on notifications with that bell thing because I plan on doing these build-alongs one a day for the foreseeable future. So if you enjoy this kind of thing, think about subscribing. Also, if you're interested in actually building along with the build-along, I've included links in the description for finding this set on Amazon and on Bricklink as well as the Brick Set link for it in case you just want to find out information about this particular set. And I gotta tell you, I'm I'm pretty much a fan of the the micro builds, like the micro ships and the architecture builds and that kind of thing. And after our diversion into the city, Lego City, it's kind of nice to be back trying out the another another um, oh I can't talk trying out another micro build. Let's see what we got. So we got this so far, and then. Alright, so we need this, and we need this, and we need another one of those two by ones, like so. And that takes care of that right there. Like so, and like so. Alright, and so. We attach the wing piece here, like that, and this goes on the end, like that. All right, and then we have another wing piece. It's a little bit offset, like so. And then let's see what we got right there. All right, we have two more end pieces. One here and where's the other one? Ah, I see it. Right here. Right here and right here. And then two of these pieces. I gotta say, this is kind of looking interesting so far. I like it the way it's looking. Alright. So it is uh, I don't know why, but it's always strange to see like a just an actual plain brick in one of these micro builds. All right, so we got that, and we need a two by two dish on top of that, and then this goes on top of here, and I guess this is gonna be our thruster looking thing. Oops. Like so. Maybe not a thruster? Mm, maybe not a thruster. Actually, I'm guessing this is going to give us our front. Let's see. Alright. Maybe not. Okay. So, man. I got to tell you, I still have a soft spot, a soft spot in my heart for these hinges. So, how does this hinge attach? So, it goes in like this. Alright, that one. And, because when I was a little kid, these hinges were gold. Although, I don't remember them having this particular piece with them. Alright. So, this goes in here. 
I'm guessing this is going to give us our diagonal. That's just my guess. And this goes right here. Yeah, I'm guessing that we're going to get something right there. Huh. I could have just looked, I guess, at the next one where we pushed them in a little bit. Like so. All right. So we pushed these in already. Let's let this out a little bit. Actually, let me just fold this so we can keep all of our extra bits and pieces on screen as well as the instructions. All right. So we push those in like so. Oh, wait. I guess I'm skipping ahead. This goes right here like so and then we have these two wings the wing sticks out a little bit so we got that wing and this wing like so and then for this one we have a facing inward, which is kind of interesting, I guess. Yeah, so this is going to be the front, I bet. All right, so that's facing inward. We got those. And now we put this orange thing across here, like that. And we put one of these blue things right in there. And then... Huh. That's got to be an interesting piece. I feel like this is the one of the flowers from the tulip, from that friend set. Hmm. Anyway, we'll put that on there. And then right here we have This goes here, and this one goes here, like so. Oh, yeah, that's right. I think it's just right there. All right. Now it's next. So what we got to do next is... I miss something? Hmm, let's see. Uh, I did miss something. I forgot this right here. So we got this right here. That right there. And then we move on to the next page. Alright, so we have this first base looking thing. Clips in right there. And this goes here. And this here like so and then we got to do that part like this I do like this canopy looking thing so this sits right there like that all right so we need two of these all right so one and two and then this goes here and this one goes here and then let me insert these down here I guess on the way in And then this goes right here. And then this clips in. And this clips in. Like so. And then these attach to the back. So these are like the thrusters. 
these the thrusters. This one doesn't want to clip in. Alright, that clips in. And this clips in. Maybe this clips in. These things are being extra stubborn today. Alright, hold on a minute. Get a good grip on this thing. Wow, it really doesn't want to go in, does it? Hmm. All right. There we go. All right. So we got that taken care of. And I'm guessing, yeah, this is going to be facing backward like that. All right. Now, next. Next, what we got is this and this, because we need two of them, and these clip in. I didn't hear it click. This clips in, and this clips in. All right. And then they attach here, facing outward. So this one's facing that way, and this one is facing this way. And I'm guessing this is where we're going to pick up our wings. All right, so we've got those. And then we clip three things onto it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, apparently we clip three things onto each of them. All right. So, one, two, and three. That's those three. Well, that's kind of cool. And then make sure these are all facing the same way. One, two, and number three. Maybe number three. Number three. All right. And that's those. And then one, two, three. Let's see. The little ones go on the back. I kind of think the big ones are going to go on the front. All right. Yeah, the big ones are going to go on the front. All right. So these clip on in alternating order. So a blue one, and then a gray one. gray one and then another blue one. Oh, I got the wrong blue one. So I use a small blue one, small blue one, a small gray one, and a small blue one. And this one. Oops. And We'll repeat the procedure for the other side with a blue, a gray, and a blue. Like so. And then we just sort of make them look nifty and spread out and wing-like. Nifty and spread out and wing-like. Like that. And finally, what we're going to do is we need these big wing pieces and, well, bigger wing pieces anyway, and these. And so, like that, and like this, ah, like this, like that, and like this, and like that. Like this, 
and then they attach to the front. So, this one goes on this side, and this one goes on this side. All right, that's kind of cool looking. Hmm. That's pretty neat. It's got kind of like a bit of action posing to it. Now, if you want a quick comparison, I grabbed the one from before. This is the Guardian ship. And I think before I said I thought it was from Guardians of the Galaxy, but it's actually from the Infinity War. Let's compare this one though. So, we got these two ships. The Milano and then the one that's just listed as the Guardian ship. They're both kind of cool looking. What do you think? I don't know. This one's definitely more colorful. This one has a bit bigger wingspan. I think they're close to the same number of pieces, 64 versus 69 pieces. Hmm. Anyway, kind of interesting. Well, if you have any suggestions for any poly bags you'd like me to take a look at, please let me know in the comments. And if you have a favorite Guardians poly bag, you can also let me know down there. And if you've enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And I hope you all have an excellent day.